Patient counseling is the process of imparting information to patients and their caregivers that will alter their health behaviors or improve their health status. It is done by clinical pharmacists and other healthcare professionals. Every pharmacist implements individualized techniques to counsel their patients. Various skills are vital for a successful patient interaction during patient counseling sessions. In this video, we are discussing 10 effective features for a successful patient counseling. Establish trust. Pharmacists are among the most accessible and trusted healthcare professionals. When initiating a patient counseling session, pharmacists should introduce themselves with a brief, friendly greeting to make patients feel comfortable enough to ask questions about their medication therapies and health conditions. Pharmacists who demonstrate a genuine interest in patient care are more likely to encourage dialogue. Communicate verbally. Pharmacists can encourage dialogue by asking questions. They should assess what the patient already knows about his or her chosen therapy and tailor the counseling to meet the needs of each individual patient. Ask patients what their physician has told them about the selected therapy and the condition for which they are being treated. Communicate non-verbally. In addition to verbal communication, it is essential for pharmacists to be aware of non-verbal communication such as maintaining eye contact with the patient to demonstra demonstrate interest in the information the patient is relaying. Pharmacists also should be cognizant of other non-verbal clues such as facial expressions and tone of voice when interacting with patients. Listen. When counseling patients about medication therapy, listening to the concerns, questions and needs of the patient is essential. Listening skills can be categorized into four classes. Passive listening, acknowledgement, response, encouragement and active listening. In passive listening, it occurs when the pharmacist enables the patients to communicate without interruption. An acknowledgement response such as nodding occurs during passive listening and alerts the patient that the pharmacist is indeed listening. Pharmacists also can use encouragement strategies through the use of words such as yes or go on. Active listening involves two-way interactions between the patient and the pharmacist and always should be implemented after passive listening. Ask questions. When posing questions to the patients, pharmacists also should state the reason for asking certain questions so as not to offend the patient. Asking open-ended questions enables pharmacists to gather more information that may lead to other questions and or provide valuable information to the pharmacist to further assist the patient. Remain clinically objective. It is important for pharmacists not to allow personal beliefs, either ethical or religious, to affect their ability to counsel a patient effectively. Pharmacists should make every possible effort to be non-judgmental and impartial, to focus on a patient care and to maintain a professional demeanor. Show empathy and encouragement. When a pharmacist displays empathy and encouragement, a patient may feel more comfortable discussing his or her medical condition and medication use, this enabling the pharmacist to obtain pertinent information on the patient's needs and concerns. Emphasizing to patients the importance of adherence of medication regimens can promote positive therapeutic outcomes and motivate patients to take an active role in the management of their health. During counseling, pharmacists also should remind patients to call the pharmacy or their physician with any concerns about their medications. Provide privacy and confidentiality. Ensuring complete privacy and confidentiality helps enable patients to feel comfortable discussing personal medical issues. 
Today, many pharmacies are equipped with special counseling areas to address privacy issues. When counseling, pharmacists can reassure patients of privacy by monitoring voice levels and counseling patients away from the dispensing area when possible. Tailor counseling to meet patient needs. The ability to tailor patient counseling to meet individual needs is critical. Pharmacists should be aware of patients with disabilities and be prepared to treat them with respect and understanding. Techniques should be tailored to accommodate the needs of each patient where verbal counseling or the use of visual aids and demonstrations when warranted. When the medication therapy involves certain administration techniques such as the use of an inhaler, an injection or a monitoring device, pharmacists should demonstrate the proper technique to ensure that patients are adequately trained. Motivate patients. Effective counseling not only provides patients with the pertinent information they need to use their medication correctly, it also motivates them to adhere to their medication regimens. The pharmacist can motivate patients by discussing the benefits of medication adherence, offering support and explain the pros and cons of treatment. For example, when counseling a patient with diabetes, in addition to teaching the patient about medications, the pharmacist can stress the importance of maintaining tight glycemic control to decrease or prevent the complications associated with diabetes. Pharmacists also make suggestions such as the use of medication reminder containers to facilitate patient adherence. Information always should be relied positively and pharmacists should look continually for ways to inspire patients to learn more about their treatment plan. So that's for today and thank you.